Hey, Steve Bedell from EXP Realty coming to you this week uh, with a rather eye-opening look at some statistics in the villages. You know how I do a lot of market reports and, you know, we list figures that we get from MLS and give you some parameters to go by if you're buying homes or selling homes in the villages. But, um, yeah, I think I'll keep my glasses on because I can't see anything. <laughs> um, but let's, uh, let's see what's behind some of those numbers and why sometimes they can be misleading. And when we give you some average numbers, sometimes there are properties that are way off of these averages. Okay. So let's take a look right now at some things here that um, I found to be uh, – well, quite different from what the average numbers that we give you are. So we're going to look at this one here on Oglethorpe today. And let's look at some things. Okay, so it's sold for 515000 And if we look at some of the numbers here, though, let's take a look down here and see what it was listed at immediately when it first came on the market. Okay, we're going to go down here. Do, do, do. And price and tax history. So let's see. Show more. I'm looking on Zillow. I may show you some on the MLS also. All righty. So, and they say sold. Let's go here. Sold back there. Okay. So 3623 listed for sale. At five hundred and ninety thousand dollars, then in April, a month later, they changed it to five seventy-five. Then the listing was removed. I want you to notice that, and then it was relisted again for five seventy-five. And then the price changed again, five sixty-nine. Then in July, then in October, is it October five fifty? Uh, 1031 and then finally sold for 515,000. So here we got a property that was originally listed $590,000 that sold for $515,000, $75,000 less than the original listing price. That's about a 13% drop. And as you probably notice here, days on the market, it was 237 days on market. And we end up, you know how we always talk about price per square foot on these properties. And we say the average price in the villages is about $260 per square foot. Well, let's take a look at this because if we do the figure in or if we go, I'm going to go right over here to matrix. And we'll see the square foot price is $215 or $214 or so. Days on market. I want you to notice this cumulative or uh, 237 days on market, that total since the last price change. It's been 181. Okay, but sometimes these numbers will be just pushed to 181. But if you notice that, that is quite a haircut. So... When you're buying properties or selling properties in the villages, you need to be really aware of these things because, I, I mean, I'm an investor too. I buy properties. And there's a saying in the investment world that you make your money when you buy. You have to buy properties right. If you're an investor buying, buying a villa for, for um, resale or for renting out and hoping to Make sure you cash flow on it and you make money on the end when you decide to sell it. Then you have to pay attention and you have to do these things right. Now, this is not an investment property at this price range. But uh, let's take a look at a couple of other ones and see what we can see there. So let's go to this one right here. This is on 1055 Winsboro Drive in the village. It doesn't really matter. Sold for $379,000. Well, let's see what it was listed for. Let's see if they have the number in here correctly. This might be small for you to see. But 
Well, this price three eighty nine, but hmm, and it sold for three seventy nine. You might think that sounds pretty good, but if we go here and we look at this price data, uh, do do we go down to here? And price and tax history. We take a look. Sold on two fourteen. Listing removed. And we move, you see that? Okay. Three ninety nine. Listing removed. Three eighty nine. Pending sale three eighty nine. And then sold for three seventy nine. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, does it? But I wanna take a look here. We had it listed originally. Da, da. For four hundred and thirty thousand dollars when it started, so four thirty sold for three seventy nine. That's a twelve percent drop in that price, and it was on the market for a hundred and seven, a hundred and five days. Let's take a look if this lines up here. The average days. See after the price change, cumulative days on market one hundred and five. or so per square foot. That's not really bad, but let's look a little behind the story now because if I won't bore you dragging you through everything here, but that that property, if we go back at the original figures, was bought on 11-22 when properties were selling at very high prices for $423,000. Then it was sold for $379,000. That means that person lost $44,000 on this property. Yeah, they bought it. Yep, 1122. Sold. 214.24. So, what, a year and a half or so? And they lost $44,000. And that's not even counting the closing costs and things, all of those additional fees that come with buying and selling houses. So, and uh, what's our price per square foot? Yeah, the 248 wasn't bad, but again, let's go look at some other ones. Let's take a look at one other house here. Let's go to this one this time, Arlington Loop. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look over here what we got. We got, oh, let's see, I made myself a few notes here so I wouldn't forget what to tell you. Uh, 1206 went on the market for 399. Okay, but if you see here, look at this in MLS, it says 359. And here they tell you 350. Or if we go here and look at what it went on the market as price and tax history listed for sale 399. Went on the market originally at three ninety nine, twelve oh six. You look over here though in MLS, hmm. It says list price three fifty nine. That's because they pull it off and put it back on. So we look at that. So they sold it for two oh six. Oh, on on the date two oh six. Sold for three fifty. Sold price is right there three fifty. Hope you can see it. Look at the price per square foot on that. $195.20. 60 days on the market. So what would we say to this? <laughs> People bought this, paid way too much for it. They lost $50,000, 12.5% when they sold this property. So I just want to bring a couple of things to the attention here. Uh, one of the things that Days on market, sometimes if this, I get my MLS reports, they originally put this as 359 when we know it was started at 399. So that's a little uh, deceptive there. It's not their fault. It's just how stuff works. And and the price per square foot, 195, that's one of the least prices per square foot that I've seen in the villages, at least recently. Okay. Okay. So I hope that at least brings a couple of things to your attention that uh, you need to be very careful when, when buying or selling 
uh, I'd say especially, well, yeah, buying. You have to buy right. You have to pay close attention. You have to know what's going on in the market. You have to know when a, pro- a property is um, overpriced. Okay, so I hope this helps you. And, of course, what helps you with that is a good realtor who has all this information and they know what's going on in the villages. That's why when we deal with realtors that uh, a, a listing that's a realtor who's not familiar with the with the villages, um, <laughs> it's fun. The villages is kind of a unique place. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Hope uh, you gained some information in that. And I hope it helps you when you're looking at properties, um, you know, gives you a little insight and gives you some things to look for. So that's it for today. Uh, Thank you for being with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.